Hi friends. So this is a very different video than I usually make, but it feels really important and it's about suicide. So unfortunately, most of us know someone who has taken their own life. And I know many, many, many people ranging from, you know, people from my high school that I didn't really know, but I saw them in the hallway to friends, to family. And there's just a couple things that have kind of been on my heart that I've wanted to share that I think as a society, we can be doing a lot better. Um, and also reminders, if you are in this space, if you're in a space where your mental health is really suffering, if you're in a space where you're having some of these kinds of thoughts, which the first thing that I wanna say is that so many more people um, sorry, my thing came up. So many more people experience suicidal thoughts and have actually attempted suicide than you would ever imagine. I've gone to so many like transformational events where the people who are there, you would just think are living their best life at the top of their, like, like you would think that they just have everything together. And I can't even tell you the number of them that have said I've attempted suicide five times in my life, or I've had these thoughts and I'm afraid I'm gonna act on them. This is something that's actually very, it's not uncommon. And if you look at the suicide rates over the last 50 years, they're just going up and up and up. And it's really scary. And I think that there's a couple really important things to remember and I'm gonna do my best to share them here. Um, when my cousin passed away, I really started learning a lot more about this. And number one, our mental health is the most important priority because if our mental health is not there, we cannot make decisions and we cannot see things clearly. The decisions we make are going to be poor. And we won't really see things clearly. What I mean by that is a lot of times when we're, we, first of all, we've all experienced dark times. We've all been at rock bottom, maybe multiple times. And we have to remember that everything is temporary. And sometimes when you're in that low place, especially if there's like a chemical imbalance going on in your body, you can't make decisions clearly. And so we have to really make sure that our mental health is our number one priority over everything. And our society has really made this like very challenging because all we see are people who are put together. We don't see when people are completely falling apart, right? We only really see when people are all put together and perfect and like they look, it's just, it creates an expectation that's not real. And that's with and without social media. So, if you're in this space, the first thing I want to say is everything is temporary and everything is always in a state of change. So if you're in a really low space, know that something new is going to be coming. And for me, whenever, I mean, I've experienced so many rock bottoms. And what I've learned is that when you're in that space, it might feel incredibly bad. You might think that things are never going to get better but there's something for you to learn in that space. And you may not be open to that piece right there, but all I want you to know is that it's temporary, it's not permanent. And the second thing is that it's really important for us, for everybody to get more comfortable being vulnerable with others. It doesn't mean you have to tell the whole world what's going on with you if you're feeling really down. It just means have at least one person, if not more, that you feel comfortable talking to. I also think, and I wanna say this in a very like specific way, um, I also think it's important to talk to the right people because some people, number one, emotionally may not be able to hold your stuff and it may make you feel worse. Also, you like, I mean, that's kind of it. Like you want to make sure that the person you're talking to can hold it and can also give you the space you need to talk and to just express how you feel without necessarily trying to fix you. Because so often 
just sharing our emotions, just sharing how we're feeling is a lot of what we need to do because you just feel so much better when you get something off of your chest. But additionally, like what I learned from a lot of the people who I've spoken with that have lost someone close to suicide, they'd had no idea because the person never talked to them about it. Or maybe they tried to talk once and then kind of gave up. So on the other side of it, if you have an intuitive hit that someone's really going through some stuff, keep talking to them, keep bugging them. Ask, you know, ask them, spend time with them, ask them how they're doing, ask them what, are, like, how can you make yourself feel better? I don't, I mean, I don't really know all the questions to ask. You could probably Google it, but like, stay on it. Don't ask once and then be done. Because the hard part is when you lose someone to suicide that's close to you, you will it'll be a regret for the rest of your life if you feel like you didn't give it your all. And that's not fair. So I'm, I'm not gonna go into that part, but so the second part is starting to be more comfortable being vulnerable and we can all do this because just like when someone prioritizes their mental health, just like if someone creates boundaries, it makes it easier for you to do the same. So if I have a friend come to me like, hey, I just am really in a low place and I need some help, can I just like vent to you? Can you help me find a psychiatrist because I'm really afraid of what might happen? That allows me then to know that I can talk with that person about really real things. So the more that we can do that as just as a collective, the better. What was the other thing that I wanted to say? Oh, so the third part is, the other thing that I've really learned about this is that, you know, a lot of times, first of all, because the perception is off, people who, who commit suicide think that they're, the lives around them will be better without them. They think that they're a burden or they don't want to be a burden anymore. They, they're not seeing clearly that it is going to absolutely devastate and traumatize the people who love you. They will never be the same. And this is why sometimes people say that suicide is a selfish act. I think that that's kind of like harsh to say because obviously someone's really going through it if they commit suicide. But you have to understand, no one will be better off without you. You came to Earth for a reason. You came to Earth for a reason and you're not supposed to opt out early. You will leave when it's your time. You're not supposed, you aren't supposed to pull the plug. God pulls the plug. So understand that the people whose lives, the people who love you will never be the same. Their lives will be, I don't wanna say ruined, depends how close you are to someone, but it will haunt them forever. And they will also probably make question themselves. What could I have done differently? It will be psychologically traumatizing as well as like creating grief. And my cousin did this amazing interview. It's on Facebook. If you want me to send you the link, I'm happy to. Um, it was just about her experience two years later, how she's been doing and how she's been handling things. And um, oh, what was I going to say about the interview? She was just saying like how, you know, every day it's like there's the grief, but it's, it's, oh, I remember. Um, she was saying how it's so much worse than if someone just dies a normal way because it was your choice and because potentially they could have stopped it. Like if you get in a car accident, someone can't really do anything to prevent you getting in a car accident, but they could have done something to prevent you choosing to end your life. And so you're leaving behind so much baggage for others. And I, I feel like that's like a mean thing to say, but it's true. So I just want to make it very clear if you're in this space, you can't just leave quietly and it won't be like you were here. That's not going to happen because everyone who's on earth is supposed to be here for some reason. So anyways, I just wanted to share some of those things today. Um, this is a really touchy subject. And like I said, so many of us have been touched by it. And I hope that the way that I said everything was was loving and compassionate and I hope that it helped someone. Um, so share this if it helps you at all. And yeah, I don't really know what else to say, but um, just know that you're loved and you're important and that everything is just temporary. You can get through anything and if you ask for help, it will be so much easier. None of us are alone, we're all humans. We, we feel the same emotions. We feel, we go through a lot of the same things. 
So just remember you're never alone and you can ask for help and that's going to make things so much better. <sighs> okay, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye.